that ain't fair. A tea bag. Okie dokie. Maybe I'm... Taking the laptop up with you? Good evening. <coughs> That's what I like. Welcome to today's geek blog, the daily objective stream from me. Uh, at Sodium Free. Basically, this stream is just going in and doing the daily challenges in GTA, trying to get the 28 consecutive day award slash achievement. So, as it stands currently, as you can tell from the title, I believe I had to make sure I'm on day 16 of 28. We are over halfway now, people. Okay, change the view, start, daily objectives, okay, so, daily check-in, we've got participate in a capture, uh, dash GTA, perform a wheelie for 10 seconds, and go for a round at the shooting range. Two of those three are difficult, are easy. One of those is difficult. And let's just check in with the stats to make sure we are on day 16. Okay, so go down here to General. Let's roll to the left. Down here, 28 duties over achiever. Complete all of your daily challenges for 28 days straight. And we've got 15 out of 26. 28. 15 out of 28. So we're almost there. On this other one, I don't know what this is. Daily duty. Oh, I should get that pretty soon. Completely da complete daily objectives to get this award. Completing all three daily objectives each day. day we'll earn you cash and RP bonus. Your objectives can be found in the interaction menu. Okay, so I have 91, so in three days I will get that uh, 800 RP bonus. Okay, so let me back out. So we might as well go. Okay, having difficulty getting out of that corner. Okay, enter garage. Garage. Okay. <clears throat> so my plan for today is talk about some random stuff. We're going to start off by going down. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll go down to the airport. We'll do wheelie. And then we'll go to the shooting range and we'll do a round there and then we'll finish off with the GTA race or GTA capture not so thrilled about that I hate the captures getting into them is a pain in the ass I hate it but gotta do what you gotta do do what you gotta do uh, so today big news of today freaking Star Wars <laughs> Uh, if you don't know already, I'm a huge, 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 huge Star Wars nerd, and I totally, I totally stream the uh, entire, uh, what's it called, 
entire keynote from the celebration number seven, I believe. I mean, uh, celebration number seven. Uh, watched the keynote with J.J. Abrams. Um, <clears throat> we'll get to the trailer at the end. It was a, it was a decent keynote. I mean, they talked about like how J.J. Abrams uh, came to like Star Wars, his interactions with Star Wars, why he came to the franchise. And even down to, like, convincing him to do it. Because he originally wasn't really gonna do it. Just because, I mean, he had plans for his family, his career, and his future. And taking on something as massive as Star Wars just wasn't in the cards yet. Um, but luckily, through cajoling by some of the uh, Lucasfilm execs, J.J. Abrams finally... Uh, agreed to sign on to the project, and thank goodness he did, because his whole mantra was practical effects, practical effects, practical effects, unless absolutely necessary to do CG. Um, so apparently a lot of the models, a lot of the uh, droids, a lot of the... <coughs> uh, everything as much as it could be done in that movie was practical effects, and what dropped my jaw during the whole presentation was when they brought out, well first they brought out R2-T2 because they were talking to two of the uh, people that they had actually hired from Celebration, some huge super fans who had been part of the R2-D2 Builders Club, who had built uh, R2-D2s off the original design, and they had matched it with such detail and care that Lucas uh, Film hired them to do uh, the actual droids in um, Star Wars uh, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Um, make a long story short, uh, these two guys did some, these two guys did some excellent work, and if you guys have seen the first trailer for <coughs> Star Wars, um, you'll know that there's a little droid, it's a ball droid, and I, apparently the name is uh, BB-8. And BB-8 is a... It looks like a soccer ball with a head, a droid head on the top of it that rolls along, uh, rolls across the ground. And in the trailer, it was like, oh, it's CG, it's CG, it's CG. Nope. They had one of those things totally roll out on the stage with R2-D2. Uh, it was real. That was a practical a practical effect, and I am blown away. Because this thing is, it's its wild. However they did it, however they're controlling that thing, it is so cool. Because um, this ball, it's basically a head sitting on top of a ball, and the ball can roll in any direction, and take the droid in any direction, and the head can independently move <coughs> around the top of the soccer ball. It is so good. Um, so yeah, uh, <coughs> they showed that off as a practical effect, and then they brought out uh, some some staples of the Star Wars universe. They brought out, obviously, um, Mark Hamill. Um, well, that's it. Sorry, I'm not just head, but whatever. Um, they revealed the trailer. Or the new teaser, not trailer. I wish it was the trailer, because I'd be super pumped. Um, either way, I was still pumped by the teaser. Uh, so the teaser had just some of the coolest shit. Oh, they, also, they brought out the new Stormtrooper, which I don't know if I'm sold on yet, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It still looks pretty cool, and I'm super excited. <laughs> um, so for the teaser, um, just go watch it for yourself, I am not going to spoil shit about the teaser, um, there's some really cool breakdowns of some of the visuals in there, and stuff that I didn't really pick up on, like, I could see and notice, but I didn't really pick up on, I strongly recommend, if you're big into Star Wars, watch the trailer a couple of times, and then poke around online, see a couple, like, the forum posts, um, 
Oh yeah, wheelie 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 wheelie. Wop, wop, wop. Uh, but yeah, it is so good. I've watched the teaser like four or five times, I will admit it. I'm kind of a super fan for Star Wars. Um, I'll do the same thing with James Bond. And the same thing with honestly with a lot of. There's a lot of properties I really like. But, um, yeah. It's pretty badass. Okay, so something just happened there that I. Some people, I don't know if they've picked up on it or not, but I feel like they've fucked with the motorcycle physics. Not necessarily the, the driving physics, but like when you crash and your little body gets thrown from a motorcycle and you turn into a bouncing meat sack, I feel like they fuck with the physics a little bit because you go way farther than I feel like you used to. Um, so instead of just like tumbling off the bike like you did before and maybe sliding a little bit or bouncing up in the air, I feel like now you actually accelerate off the bike. <clears throat> it's no longer... Not bad, just different. Interesting. There's something worth it to take note of. So when you crash, I mean, obviously you should wear a helmet when you're on a motorcycle in GTA because you take less damage. care a little bit more now that I'm on the other side of the world. Okay. Um, so yeah, I totally dig. Dig the trip. Um, what else? Uh, um, it's going to be interesting doing Saturday morning survival this week because I'm away from my apartment. So I do not have access to my gaming PC, but I will be trying to play Left 4 Dead 2 on my Mac. So it's going to be interesting trying to do SMS from a laptop. Which reminds me, I probably need to find a mouse. It's, no matter how good I think I am with a trackpad, I'm not that good with a, tra with a trackpad. Sorry, I just ate a Kodoba burrito. And I'm a little burpy. I apologize for that. It was delicious, though. I totally would like another one. Okay. We're gonna get in this bitch. Handgun, submachine gun, light machine gun. Oh, we're gonna do LMG, combat LMG. Not bad. I do those more just to get them done. I don't really uh, attempt to set record scores. New record.
Fast and the Furious. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. I don't think that was from today, I think that was from yesterday, because I had pizza. Just a mistake. I'm Besati. I woke up in a new Bugatti. Up in a new boost out there. Let us see. Get crunk. I just have to lure some dumb schmuck in here to play some GTA with me for one round. <laughs> That's all I need to do. I never know with these people. I always feel nervous that I'm gonna like get into one of these and just get my ass handed to me because this is a guy who's fucking like actually he's like prestiged basically in GTA. You get up to like 350 and then we're like, oh, I'll create a new character. <laughs>
win and I get like a dollar. Yeah, that's awesome. Finish this. <clears throat> Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Good. Let's gotta finish this mission. Bet too. That's cool. Okay, free mob. Beep. <laughs> oh boy. So, 
Oh, it looks like that's all for tonight. I think I got them all. Got them all. So that was a short stream. I think I did it all in like 30 minutes. Ah, uh, no, I did not wake up in a new Bugatti. <laughs> I woke up in a new Bugatti. Yay. I hate April Fool's Day. <laughs> Heck yeah. And that is day 16. Let's just check her out just to make sure. Deal with objectives. One, two, three, done. Here for start. Two stats. Two. Alerts. General. Collapsed. And we are at 16 of 28. And 94 of 100. So in three days I'll get one, and in a while, <laughs> about uh, 12 days, I will get the other. Okay. <laughs> Got a little extra time, so I might as well go in here and do a bit more. Maybe make a little, make a little extra scratch. Being a new. That's what that was. I just wanted. I really did want to just purchase ammo. Okay, so I'll wait a little bit. To see if I'm the drawings. This is super annoying. This is unexciting. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I may want to make
tunnel with that Electro. That's a two-piece memoir. Don't have a hot knife. Welcome, viewer. Glad you could join me. I just actually finished up my stream for tonight. I'm just kind of browsing the marketplace. I, uh... I've been doing this so far for 16 days. I just finished up today. It's the 16th day. Uh, and I'm going for a challenge for doing 28 consecutive days. So 16 to 28. So I'll be back on probably about the same time tomorrow. And I will probably repeat the process again every day until 28. So it's a long road. <laughs> want anything in there. I think I'm good in legendary. This is probably where I want to buy stuff. I have the insurgent pickup. I have the hydra. Tempted by the insurgent non pickup. Kinda want a monster truck. Okay. Kinda want a tank. I totally want a dump. I wish they would just go in here and be like, oh the dump's on sale for half price. Because I would totally buy the dump for 500 grand. Even though it's a dumb, dumb, dumb purchase. Do you not regret that? I think that's part of my favorite vehicle. The dumpster. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, that's it. Somebody's gonna die. Get down, little hero! Oh. This is an emergency! I don't know if I can kill that easily. Might as well try, though. Alright, so if you haven't played GTA before, the thing that just killed me is the Insurgent pickup truck. I own one. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to kill. And Big Fridge, I, Maverick, and uh, Fridge's brother actually took one of those things and went on like a 45 minute rampage. Killed like a hundred cops, we killed like players left and right. I believe we killed at least one tank. Uh, we were unstoppable on that thing. It's also why I think they're going to nerf it sooner rather than later, because it's kind of unstoppable. And... Uh, I think I okay. All I want to do is go to my luxury pad. all the scary people on the street. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. Okay, so let's go back really quick. I want to just Check out my shopping list. Oh, nope. Making a list, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Hey, what's up, Fridge? We bien. Yeah, I was talking about the insurgent shenanigans. We had the insurgent pickup. We went on like a 45 minute rampage and murdered everything. Yeah, 
I believe it was a little. Co I believe it was a little column A, a little column B, because you were cracking away with that machine gun, killing everything. And I just, I just remember the extreme exuberance when we managed to knock that fucking tank out. Uh, there's no such thing as too far in GTA. So I have reached a new level of uh, challenge, as you can tell from the title of my stream. I'm on day 16. Yeah. Uh, so I left my Xbox on by accident. So yes, I was technically on GTA this morning. I was technically on GTA since yesterday. You know, I was I left it on, and I was still in a party, and the only thing I did was stop my stream last night before going to bed. Um, right now, I am currently shopping for new shit. It did help that I just had a burrito, and <laughs> so I was pretty much ready to fall asleep the whole time. Um, okay, so I need I need one million dollars. I need two point five million dollars. Three point. I'll be three point. Three point five. Four point four five. I uh, said so four point four five. Okay, I'll join. It said, "Do you want to join a party session?" So I'm jo I'm joining. <laughs> let, let your puppy outside. Yep, yep. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, tomorrow. The Yankees did not do well yesterday. They got beat by the Orioles. Blah. In your daily stock update, Apple was down, Tesla was down, Best Buy was down, Ford was down, Facebook was down, Microsoft was down, Google was up. Finally, I burped. That's wonderful. I love it. And I woke up in a new Bugatti. Dom, da dom, dom, dom. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm assuming it didn't taste like nail polish. There's a reason alcohol, like the nicer alcohol, the only exception to that may be vodka. Um, 
Uh, well, no, it's... Well, no, the difference in vodka is the purity. So, the difference between, like, a $5 bottle of UV vodka and a $50 bottle of Grey Goose is the fact that they've run it through a charcoal filter three or four times. So basically, if you want to buy a $5 bottle of UV vodka and a $10 charcoal filter and run it through the charcoal filter three or four times, you will have a better bottle of vodka than you would the Grey Goose for $10. Did you buy it in GTA or... Okay, I was going to say, what did you buy? And I woke up. <laughs> so you like the uh, Star Wars trailer? Well, it technically wasn't. It technically, it was teaser two. <laughs> now that I think about it, yes, teaser number two. Oh yes. Um. The, um, so Goat Simulator is now available on the Xbox. <laughs> um, um, I really liked the, there's two things that I didn't realize until afterwards. First, the scene where you have the TIE fighter chasing the Millennium Falcon into one of the engines. Actually, you know what, before I do that, hold on. Uh, stream, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back on tomorrow about the same time. Probably, maybe, depends on what I do tomorrow night, but I will be back on tomorrow streaming more GTA Online to get the daily challenges for day number 17. Follow us on at today's underscore geek on Twitter, todaysgeekblog.com, Facebook at Today's Geek. You can follow me at Sodium Free. You can also follow me on Xbox or Steam at Freeride on Steam and at, oh, uh, well not at, it's just I space am space Sodium Free here on the Xbox. But you can see that in the top. Yes, you can also join the Today's Geek Steam group, which is, I believe, what, just Today's Geek on uh, Steam? Yep, so just search Today's Geek, you will find it, I pro promise. If you don't send me a message on Twitter, we'll figure that shit out. That is all back on tomorrow, and thank God it's going to be Friday. Adios, kids.